Okay, hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hi, everyone. Yes, Kat, Curtis, Anastasia, Jose, Ahmad. Whoa, so many people. Hi, nice, David, Nomi, Janelle, James, Susan. Hello, wow. Okay, that's really nice. We have lots of people again from all over the globe. Regan, hi, hi. And Ron and Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hello, hello. Okay, are you ready for another amazing seminar? Shalom, Mr. Cohen and family. Yes, yes. Hey, JJ. Yes. Swapna, hi. James, yes. Lizette, hi. Excellent. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. So let's start. Baya, hello. Anthony, excellent. Okay, good. We're starting. So very quickly, let's do the agreements. You know the agreements, no recording. You can take pictures, but please no recording. Nothing I said today is true unless it is true for you. I teach what nothing I teach you is new. You already know it. What I teach you is not just theories, it's proven facts, but they need to be implemented in an exact manner. And they are different to what you used to. And hence, it is the ability to confront the dreams, not just the listening, that will produce the expected result. Now, you need your acknowledgement because your acknowledgement is what will balance, the, will balance the inflow and outflow between us. So you need acknowledgement. You need to say, uh, to answer my questions, you need to write in the chat. If you didn't find the chat, um, find it. Yes, James. And the acknowledgement can be anything as long as you communicate, as long as you say, I'm here, as long as you somehow uh, uh, do some kind of uh, communication out. Okay, so, oh, I see we've got Ron and Tracy Carvalho. Hi, you are on the questions side. Okay, no problem. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. And the most important thing, most important thing, most, more important than anything else, be unserious. So seriousness in my definition here, I'm using the definition of when interest is important because of penalty. You do something because if you don't do it, you get penalized. That's seriousness. That's heavy. That's not going to bring you success, that will make sure that you will fail because unseriousness and happiness is prerequisite for success. Okay, are we okay up to here? Are we okay on the agreements? Yes, 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 yep, yep. Yes, excellent, wonderful, beautiful, excellent. Good. Very good, let's continue. Recap, I'm going to give you a short recap so you can see what we are talking about okay so recap number one you the poten the potential have a power and that power is what is this power that you have what is the power that you have what is the power that you have the only power you have certainty to bring something out of nothing. Yes, 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 create something. Okay, so your power is the power of taking, so let me go back to our drawing. If this is, if this is the beginning of time, this is time, okay? And what we have here, you are here. You are in this area. You are here, this is you. Okay, this is you. This is the spiritual universe. This is you. This is the physical universe. The physical universe has started at one point, And this is the point where it started here. It started here. So obviously, the thing that started the physical universe is not physical. Because started imply and means that it was not there before. So the thing that started the physical universe is you. And since then, you have two options. Either to create the physical universe or to be uncreated by it. 
any day you don't create, you become more dead, you become more physical. You get uncreated by the physical universe. Does it make sense to you? Yes, yes, yes. Now, the beginning, at the beginning, you, you need to improve this uh, muscle of creation, yes? You need to improve this muscle of creation because for a long time, everything around you, everything around you tells you that you cannot do that. You can only change what already been created. So you need to improve it. So at the beginning, what you need to do is just put something there without any reason at all. Not, not true, not not true not right not right just put out there someone asks you well you know i have a headache why is it just come up with an answer it doesn't have to be right it doesn't have to be wrong just come up with an answer someone tell you well you know i have this problem you don't need to do anything but well, I'm, I'm competing with the chai <laughs> So someone to tell you, well, I, I have a problem or you have a problem. And what you need to do is to take that problem. Chai baby, yes. You have to take that problem and come up, just invent, just invent a solution. It will be more powerful than all the logic you, you will ever apply. Just invent a solution. Does it make sense to you? Your only power is the power to come up with ideas, invent solution. It is senior to the physical universe. It is simple because it's senior, <laughs> because it's true. Just invent a solution, regardless of how practical, how true it is. Now, when you can invent a solution, when you have this thing of inventing solution, what you get is unseriousness because seriousness is when importance is because of penalty. But if you just invent a solution, it means it implies that there is no penalty. So when someone becomes serious, he operates in the physical universe. And when someone is happy or unserious, he operates outside of the physical universe. Good, Marcel. Does it make sense? So the best thing you can do for you and for everyone around you is be unserious. Just invent solution. Stop agreeing with the physical universe. Stop agreeing with the physical universe. Stop agreeing, stop looking at your past. When I say physical universe, I'm talking about your past, your experience. Stop looking at your experience. Stop dealing with your experience. Just come up with something. You already gave games in a few minutes. Yes, yes, James, yes, yes. Thank you, it's true. So, the power to bring about something out of nothing and by that to create space and space alone. To create space and space alone. What is that power? What is the power? What is that power? The power to bring something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. Ideas, ideas, right, 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 right. Ideas, postulate, same thing, idea. Idea, creative, that's true, Pam. Ideas, ideas. The power to bring something out of nothing is the power of ideas. So you have an idea here. You, you come up with an idea for no reason at all. And what do you create, on, what do you get on the other side? What do you get on the other side? You get the fact. So number one, number one is an idea, and number two is a fact, okay? Yes, I will, Luis. Number one, you've got an idea, and number two, you have a fact, okay? So someone has an idea, there will be a cell phone. Someone had that idea, and there is a cell phone, it's a fact. You just come up with an idea. You just say, well, you know, I want, I want to, I want to, to know how to, um, let's say you say, I want to know how to play guitar, okay? You have an idea, okay? Now, what happened is like that. You born here, let me show you something just, just really fascinating, okay? 
this is something really fascinating. Let's say that the beginning of time, as far as you're concerned, is when you're born. It's not true, but let's assume it for a second. Okay, just let's say that this is when you're born and you live. And now this is today, and today you are a 34 years old. Okay, that's your age. Now for 34 years, what you got all this time here, all this time, you got one message. You got one message. Everything proved to you one thing about guitars. And that message was, I cannot play. You got that. You agree with that? I cannot play, I cannot play, I cannot play. Okay? Now, at one moment, when you decided I want to play, when you decided I want to play, you put now, at that moment, in a, a new idea, you put a new idea that says, I can play. This idea is, I can play. This, you say, yep, I can play. Okay, this idea ran head on into 34 years of proofs that you cannot play. And so you cannot play. So it takes a long time to learn how to play guitar. Does it make sense to you? Yes. So the problem that we have is that when I said that learning is an exercise of deleting data, you're deleting the lie of I cannot play. Because you agreed with the physical universe, you looked, at the physical universe, and the physical universe gave you the reality. So theoretically, if this is you, you are external. Okay, you're external to the physical universe. You have two options. Either you give the reality to the physical universe by putting ideas, or the physical universe give you reality. Most people, most of the time, get the only reality from the physical universe and the physical universe is the sum of all the limitation ever dreamed about the physical universe is the sum of all the limitation ever dreamed about so what you get here you've been educated for years with i cannot or limitation that's all you've been educated for years i cannot and limitations limitations limitation limitations so you say i can play guitar i only did not uh, know that i know how to do it basically what you do that's what you do uh, but this is really it's applied to anything it's you, you think that uh, money is a big problem it's not a problem that you just for years and years and years and years you say money is difficult to get only jewish people have money and i'm not um, money is the source of all evil. Uh, money, if you have money, you have um, a, a wife. And if you have a wife, she will spend it. If you spend it, you need to make more, so you don't have money. You have endless amount of considerations of about money. If you are 34 years old, it's 34 times uh, 12 months, times 30 days, times uh, 24 hours per day, times... Uh, the number of minutes, seconds, and milliseconds, every second you've been making yourself right. I cannot have money, I cannot have money, I cannot have money. And now I come and I tell you what, well, you know, money is nothing, it's just an idea. Money is just an idea. And it's very easy to understand, but it's almost impossible to change your mind about it because you have to be so wrong. And you say, yeah, yeah, I'm willing to be wrong. Mm, yes, you are. You are willing. But not really. Not really. The only way to cancel it is, number one, to understand the mechanism. Number one, you have to understand the mechanism. It will give you some relief. And number two, to do the processes that actually eliminate the, the physical universe. There is a way to eliminate the physical universe. Does it make sense to you? Do, do you understand the problem? The problem is, the problem is a problem of viewpoint. It's very, very, very easy 
to have money because money you don't actually make you have. And the reason you don't have money is exactly the reason you don't have relationship is exactly the same re uh, reason you don't have anything. And that reason I, I will tell you, but it will not do much because there's so much to understand behind it. But the, the actual reason is criticism. The actual reason you don't have money is criticism. You find fault with things. You have a wall. You want to go through the wall. You need to go around the wall. You need to open the door. Perfect. You criticize the door. Oh, I need to open the wall. It's, you cannot just go through the wall. So, and, and the way to handle, the way to remove the physical universe is to stop criticizing. How do you do that, etc., etc. We will learn it in the full seminar. This is, I'm giving you just an introduction, introductory, so I can sell you the full seminar so you will understand the seminar. Do you understand? The whole idea here is how do we delete these years of agreement with the physical universe? That's the problem. That's what we need to do. And if you don't do that, you, 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 you will learn. You will learn. You will get data. You will feel better. But you will not have much better results. To have the better results, you need to delete that. And how do you delete it? By actual learning. Actual learning is deleting what you agree to. Does it make sense to you? Do you see the, the amazing mechanism here? You need to delete what you agree to. Yes, it is wild. It's unbelievable. And you've been agreeing for years and years and years to your limitation. You agree to a specific... Do you know when people ask me, uh, uh, how much money people have, and I say, I know exactly how much each person has without looking in his bank account. Every person, I can tell you exactly how much money he has. And they say, how do you know? I said, you have as much money as you need. You have as much money as you need. What does it mean, need? Need mean that you agree to a certain limitation and you are working within this limitation and you need to live within this limitation to that amount of money. Every time you criticize the environment or people or yourself, you put another limitation, you will have less money. That's why happiness, which bring about space, is, is the only way to succeed. Good, so we'll see how to break it, yes? The process of how to break it is the process of handling criticism. This is really what it is, and I'm going to teach you that in the actual seminar, okay? Let's continue. Ideas, not energy, rule the world. The immediate, the immediate um, handling, the immediate, um, um, how do you call this, Advil, the immediate Advil that you can take, or Penado for South Africans, is just... Practice inventing ideas. Take something and invent idea, but not only for yourself. Tell people, well, I think that the reason you have a headache is because this, and not I think, I know that the reason because if you have a headache is because this and this and that. Because you look to the left. Just come up with a nonsense idea. And again, and again, and again, and again, and all of a sudden you will know and you will see that you will start deleting, deleting those limitations. But you need to do that. You need to do that. That's a drill you need to do every day. Come up with ideas. Someone tell you, you know, this is cannot be done. This cannot be done. This is like 100% cannot be done. And you tell that person, you know, I agree with you. I know it cannot be done. But assume that it could be done. How would you, how would you do it? Let, let's assume that it could be done. Just play a game for a second. How would you do that? And you will see that barriers will melt right in front of you. Why? Why? Because, because facts, what he tells you, he tells you, look, there's a physical universe here that defines what can be done and what cannot be done. This is the physical universe and it, it has endless amount of facts. Physical universe is composed of facts. Many, many facts. And they're not just independent facts. What's unique about those facts is one is the cause of another. So there is a reason why something happened, yes? 
So for every force, this counter force, which means there was a force and then there was a counter force. And there's another relationship here, and there's another relationship here, and there's another relationship here, and there's an, a relationship between these two, and there's endless relationship, endless, endless cause and effect relationship. And because of that, what you have, you have an unmovable game. You have a maze that wherever you go, eventually you will get into a trap. You see, I cannot get out of here. I can play only with this, this, within this limited space. And the problem is, any decision that I will make, I will limit my space even more. Do you, do you understand? Do you, do you see that? Yes? So the longer you live, the smaller your space becomes. The eraser, it's too simple. The eraser, it's too simple. What it is, just make ideas. Because every one of those facts, what is the common denominator to all those facts? What's the common denominator to all those facts? What is the common? Yes, they're coming from an idea. They used to be an idea. You understand? Each one of those facts used to be an idea. There is not one, one fact that is not used to be an idea. Every fact, and it's not all created exactly by you, but it was contributed by you. There's not one fact that you know about that has not been at least contributed by you. Okay? The physical universe robs you of idea. It tried to convince you that it is senior to you. Uh, did you ever learn something? Let's say you've learned uh, to dance or you learned to... Uh, to do something and it was difficult, 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 difficult. And then one day you got it. Did it ever happen to you that you try, 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 learn, 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 and one day, boom, you have it, yes? Yes, yes, exactly, yes, yeah. yes. Now, did you notice that once you got it, skip for me, yes, good. Did you notice that once you got it, it is so simple? Jose, yes, driving, yes. At that moment, it becomes so simple. Yes? Why it becomes simple? Why it becomes simple? Because the moment that you say, I got it, you stop relying on that to tell you what you have, and you got it. You got it. You have it. It's you. It's not the physical universe. It's not the limitation. You got it. So anything that you will say, I got it, just, I got it. Not I have it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I have the idea. I have the idea. Not I have it. I have the idea. I'm putting the idea there. Anything that you will say, yes, it's my ideas, 100% it will be in control. Why you don't do that? Why you don't do that? Because you are very, 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 very willing, very, very willing to say, I got it about money because you want money. But are you willing to say, I got it about killing a person in China right now? Are you willing to say, I got it, it's me, about this last thing that you committed? Are you willing to go and put in the newspaper all the sins you ever committed? That's when you actually be able to put any idea there. What does it mean to put any idea there? It means, because it's me, I'm the creator, those facts have no effect on me whatsoever, so I can put them or unput them at will. At that moment, you will never find criticism with anyone, anything that you will have no, bro no blocks. Does it make sense to you? Yes, Susan, yes, you have to delete to learn something, you have to delete the limitations, delete the lies. Learning is not a process of adding, adding things. Learning is a process of deleting things. Thank you. So ideas, not energy, rule the world. Now, if you go to any spiritual group, if you talk to any spiritual uh, person, any person that uh, teach you about the spirit and tell you to become spiritual and spiritual, spiritual, they always talk about energy. The moment that they open their mouth and say energy, you need to know they are bullshitters. They don't understand what they're talking about. 
Because the more you deal with energy, the less you have you. This is your indication that the guy don't know what he's talking about. The moment that he said, well, you know, let's me, we, we dealing with the energy. Uh, this is an energy and the energy is everything and the energy and the energy and the energy. At that moment, you know, the guy's a bullshitter. Because one thing, one thing for sure, the spirit has nothing to do with energy. Not physical universe energy. Do you understand? Because here, here, there is no moving particles. So how can you make energy? It is putting out particles. They release energy. It has nothing to do with you. Other than the fact that you put it there. But you are not it. It's like someone come to when someone come to talk to you about energy and tell you, you know, you are an energy and you are energy and it's energy. And it's energy. It's like someone come to you and say, you know, you are the car. The driver are the car. The car being the energy and the driver being the guy that control it or put it there. Do you understand that? So ideas, not energy, rule the world. Yet everything around you, everything around you, try to convince you that energy is the boss. Because if energy is the boss, energy has a limit. Energy actually is a method of limiting the amount of motion that you can produce. Energy is a method of limiting the amount of motion you can produce. So if someone tell you, look, you are an energy, this is the energy, blah, but what basically it says, you are limited and you know you are not limited. You know you are not limited. The definition of the word spirit is this thing that it's infinity. In, in uh, Greek, they call it theta, infinite. Infinite what? Infinite source of energy. Not energy, infinite source of energy. So the source of energy cannot be an energy, you understand? <laughs> the source of energy cannot be energy. Energy can only be converted. Make sense? So ideas, not energy, rule the world. This is really fascinating. Now, what is life? What is life? How will you define life? What is life? Ideas are source. Yes, ideas are source. Yes. Because you are in nothingness, and the only thing that this nothingness is manifested in is ideas and you turn them into something experience your existence gain you understand that you do not exist kate I'm, I'm starting to be very accurate with you or very specific with you you do not exist exist mean to continue over time past experience for sure not all your past experiences is the physical universe it's not you A manifestation of ideas, okay. I'll let that's good. When the physical universe takes you away from you, mm, okay. The physical universe don't do anything. It just lim try to limit you, but you always know. Okay, so let me, you see, this is a kind of a difficult question I ask you because you've been educated to look at everything from a physical universe viewpoint. What does it mean a physical universe viewpoint? If I would need to define the physical universe viewpoint, I will say that the physical universe viewpoint is that for there is always a prior cause. There's always a prior cause, which means this could happen only because of that. There's a prior cause. What does it mean a prior cause? A prior cause means that every progress is actually a limitation. Listen, a prior cause means that everything that looks like a progress, it's actually a limitation. If I agree that there is yes and no, this is the first agreement here. Yes and no, plus and minus. So anything from now on have to be 
based on that thing. There's a plus and minus. Okay, so I agreed I will create a piece of wall. Okay, so there is a piece of wall and the piece of wall is a limitation. Why it is a limitation? Because that piece of wall now block me from seeing what happened before. There's always every action here is actually adding to the limitation while thinking that you're expanding, that you're going to the future. Every movement forward actually take you backward. That's amazing. Every movement forward actually take you backward unless if you know that you need to be before the beginning. Just before the beginning, when you act with ideas, not on prior cause, ideas have no rules. Ideas have no rules. Ideas, you just put it there, you say it's there, and it's there. No rules, no reason, no prior cause. Effect, effect is condensed energy, and effect is actually a, 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 manif a manifestation of ideas, okay? Effect is a manifestation of idea, and to be more accurate, effect is a manifestation of idea that the responsibility for it has been dropped. Effect is a manifestation of idea that the responsibility for that idea has been dropped. And the physical universe limits you all the time. So if I wanted, so let's see what is life. If I wanted to take something that have the ability to bring about any effect by ideas alone, so this something is you, the nothingness, this is you, can bring something out of nothing. If I want to take something that have the ability to bring about any effect, this is kind of a God, yes? Not God like God, spiritual God or, or religious God, but God is in your own universe, someone that can bring something out of nothing. So if I wanted to take something that have the ability to bring about any effect by ideas alone and make the effect more important than the ability to bring about to bring it about, I will create the following situation. So look what's happened. Look what's happened here. What happened here was something amazing. There is something here that we can call a God or you or something that is unlimited, totally unlimited. It can bring something out of nothing. So you say, um, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. You say it's difficult. It is difficult. You say I can do it. You can do it. You say I may not be able to do it. In some cases, you will not be able to do it. Whatever you say happen. Okay. So it's obviously who, who is the boss here? The left side or the right side? Who is the boss? Left. It's clear like the day. Yes. Now, how can I make someone so powerful to become junior to what he created. How can I turn it around and I can have everyone without exception think that the right is senior? How can I sin? How can I make everyone think that this is senior to what created it? So how can I make it like, this is agreement that it is uh, what, is, what is real, Hide the left, yes, yes. How can I make, look at the, uh, this is so fascinating. You take something unbelievable, bring about everything, and then it thinks every day that it goes forward, it thinks that it's the junior of what he created. Drop responsibility, don't know, that we know, yes. Marketing, propaganda, yes. Yeah, marketing, yeah. How do you do that? This is really the question, yes? Because this is what happens. Somehow, someone took God and made God into a slave to their things. From all sides, science and religion. Yes, how do we do that? This is the fascinating, unbelievable thing. Unbelievable thing. Here it is. The God, the creator, will be servant to his own creation, and as a result, will stop creating. That is life. So how do you do that? 
the God, the creator, will be servant to his own creation and as a result will stop creating. And that is life. Now, how do you do that? You take a potential. You take a potential. What is the potential? To assume a viewpoint or to have an idea. That's your only potential, yes? To assume a viewpoint. Now, a potential by definition is something that have endless energy. You, you understand that? A potential by definition is something that has endless energy because it can create, yes? So you put a viewpoint there. You've got the potential and this thing can have a viewpoint. And I have a viewpoint, well, you know, I want to get married. This is a viewpoint. Yes, it's a potential. I assume a viewpoint. I have an idea, I'm married. Or I have an idea, oh, I know electronics. Or I have an idea, whatever the idea is, okay? Now, once you have an idea, you need someone there to assume the viewpoint. Yes? So if I look here, I say, good. Um, I have an idea. Okay, I have an idea, cell phone. Okay, this is an idea, it's not physical yet, yes? The first thing, I need to assume a viewpoint. This assuming a viewpoint in, the, in real life, what you say, you see a person will start a company. A person will say, I'm a husband. A person will say, I'm a male. This is all assuming a viewpoint, yes? Uh, you just assume a viewpoint. You just say, I am. It's not more than that. You just say, and it is. What's the difference between a person that have a company and one that not? A person that have a company said, I am. I have a company. I'm going to make one. I had an idea, and now I'm assuming the viewpoint. It's going to operate from this address. It's going to operate from my car, whatever. You assume a viewpoint. Everyone happy so far? Yes. Excellent. Happy. We like happy. So you've got someone there, you're assuming a viewpoint. The next, thing, the next thing that you do, you look at something. So you say, okay, okay, I have a company. Now let's see, where can I look at? Where can I communicate? You look at something. You put something out, okay? The next thing you do, you create something, creation without continuation. And you say, you know what? We're going to sell $100 million within five years. You just put a target. You just put a, some kind of a target for people to achieve. You just decide, okay, this is my purpose. I'm going to do that, okay? I'm going to create $100 million within three years, okay? So, but it has no continuation. It has no continuation. It's something there, and as long as you don't keep on putting it there, you will not actually make it. Everything around you will try to tell you, uh, 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 don't look at that. You understand? When, when you put a target there, when you put a target there, this is you, and you put a the target there, this is the target, yes? And you start to move. The moment that you start to move, since you operate in the physical universe, Everything will push you and pull you to get off the target, to get your attention away from it. The only reason you don't achieve your target is because the physical universe is set on taking your attention away from your target. Only way. Yes. Good. So the moment that you put it there, that you need to know that you put it there with no continuation, you put it there with no continuation, and the next thing you have, you have something, fact. You take the original, you take what you wanted, and you create a duplicate. Now you need to understand that for a wall, to be a wall, you need a duplicate wall. This is the four dimension. You need to understand that because nothing in this universe survives by itself. And like you say, I love you. And on the other side is I don't love you. You say it's difficult. And on the other side, it is easy. But you don't say it's easy. Uh, like you never say the other side. 
but without the other side, what you say cannot cannot exist. So, for example, if I say uh, he is beautiful, and there is no such thing as not beautiful, that person cannot be beautiful. Do you get the idea or not? No. Okay, I will explain. Okay. Okay. Do you understand that for every plus there must be minus? Do you understand that? Good. Excellent. Now, when you say plus, do you say minus? No, you say plus, and it's understood that there is minus, yes? Now, on that same basis, if I say beautiful, could they be beautiful if there was no ugly? No. But you don't say you are beautiful, you are not. So, not... No, this limitation also applies to the people in your... It's applied to anything. What I teach you applies to everything. If, it, if I teach you something that don't apply to one thing, it's a lie. You can take it as a law. If I teach you something and you can find one example in life that it does not apply to, it's a lie. So when you say, I love you, you also say, I don't. Because love cannot, assuming that love is a physical thing, yes? Love cannot exist without no love. Beautiful cannot exist without ugliness. Big cannot exist without uh, small. Everyone with me so far? Yes, so in the physical universe, in the physical universe, you understand that in order to have something, you need to have the other thing. Which means that if I put a wall there, there needs to be a negative wall, which is the four dimension. The four dimension is that distance between plus and minus. This elasticity, this thickness, that it's not a thickness, but a, a kind of um, elasticity, I can call it. So you love and don't love the same person at the same time, 100%. In the physical universe, yes, I'm not talking about love between spirits, yes? Fourth dimension, yes, fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is this elasticity. This is the difference between, it's the, it's the thing between beauty and ugliness. The thing between them, the thing that hold them together, this distance here, this, this is some kind of elasticity, some kind of a, a something in between, which is the fourth dimension, which we don't talk about, but it exists. So in order to have a wall, you need to have the other wall. So in order to have something, you put an idea, you put an idea, plus in the physical universe, your prior decision, your prior postulate, put the minus there. Otherwise, it will not be there. That's the law of the physical universe. That's the fourth dimension. Are you with me? It is amazing, yeah. Now, it is what you put your attention on, it is what you put your attention on that bring about what? What bring about? If I put my attention on plus, what will grow? What will grow? If you put your attention on plus, what will grow is like that. Plus will grow, respond, plus will be created, minus will grow, which means plus will be created responsibly. You will have control over the plus, but what will grow actually will be the minus because grow mean getting bigger in effect without your control. So it is the minus that will actually grow. So when you say, I love you, 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 you will get at the end, I don't. Unless if you are able to experience love and not love, both, then you will have something that both in, under your control. So far so good? Because it, it, for every plus, there's minus. 
Yes, of course, you can ask questions all the time. 100%, you need to control the minus as well, because otherwise, whatever you leave uncontrolled is irresponsible, and then when you lose your control, you, when you don't know about it, if you don't have knowledge about what's happening with the minus, because you say, I just plus, 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 I love, I love, I love, I love. You don't know what's happening with the minus which I don't love. So you will not take responsibility with so I don't love. So you will not have control over I don't love. So it will hit you. Same thing with money. If you cannot say money, what is, what is money? What is money? Money is an idea, yes? Idea backed by confidence. So if you take money as something physical and say, I want money, I want money, I want money, I want money, you will not have money. You understand? What you need to say is, I create money and I can have money or no money, no problem. How do you control the I don't love? You just need to be at the same way that you create, I love you, my son. I love you, my son. I love you, my son. You need to know that it's totally fine with you, 100%. You can live at the same level of enthusiasm with, I don't love you, no problem. At that moment, you'll get a real love and the word love mean when it's a spiritual love, the word love, the willing or the urge to be together for no reason at all. The definition of the word love is the urge to be together for no reason at all. When a mother loves a child, she loves him with all the pluses and minuses, no reason at all. He kisses her, she loves him. He piss on her, she loves him. He poo, she loves him. He become a bad guy, she loves him. He become a good guy, she loves him. Okay. But how to, how to be able to lose if you really want it? Because if you want it, you will not have it. You need to understand, you need to grow because everything around you tell you, you look, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, because if not, you lose it. But it's a lie. You really need to understand, it's a lie. It's a lie, and the more you'll try to have it, the less you'll have it. The more you try to have it, the less you'll have it. How do you control the other side? First of all, the first action is by knowing that it's like that. First of all, you need to know that it's like that. How do you control anything? How do you control anything? By going back into full responsibility into the ideas. Don't drop responsibility, say there is a prior cause. What does it mean prior cause? Prior cause is an irresponsibility. It's not me, it have to happen like that. I cannot do anything about it. It happened, I cannot do anything about it. For every plus there's minus, it's nothing to do with me. What does it mean? Irresponsibility, the physical universe is a universe that punish you for being unethical, but allow you to be only unethical. It's punish you for being irresponsible, but allow you to be only irresponsible. So negative uh, reaction to something I created is because I want it, I want it, and I think what I created exists. Negative reaction for something is just an inability to to confront. Negative reaction is a drop in responsibility. Negative reaction is the admission of not being caused of not being able to have an idea, to control anything by ideas alone. So the whole idea behind this from, uh, from zero to hero is actually the physical universe make you into a zero cause. And what I want to teach you is how to become the hero. What does it mean hero? Hero is someone that can bring about the impossible, ideas. Impossible meaning something that the prior cause say it cannot happen, but you say it will happen by an idea. Does, does it make sense to you? Do you see that? This is the whole, this is where I'm going with this seminar. I'm explaining, if I will come, just come to you and I say, well, you know, this is a seminar, zero to hero, and you need to buy it and it will teach you blah, 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 blah. You, you will not buy it, you will not get it. It will be useless for you. you need, we needed to go through all of this and probably one or more sessions before you will really understand what you need to understand. 
you get what I'm doing? I'm getting you to understand what you need to understand because it is opposite of what you've learned in the last 36, 40, 50 years, whatever your age is. Because everything, everything tells you the opposite. The opposite. Thank you, Anastasia. John, yes. Paul, it is interesting, yes. So the moment that you have something, the moment that you have a fact, the moment that you have something, you actually duplicate the original. When you duplicate the original, you add a lie. So what can we conclude? What can we conclude? We can conclude the conclusion are few. Number one is you have as much as you can assume viewpoint or have ideas. What define how much money you have is your viewpoint on money, your ideas about money. You understand? But those ideas, those ideas that you have about money, you don't consider them important. What you consider important is what you have. You consider important only the facts. You know that in order to have money, you need to sell. And in order to sell, you need to learn how to sell. And you need to find a customer. And you need to call him and blah, 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 blah. Yet, when I made a hundred million dollars, I didn't know English. I didn't have an actual product. I didn't, I didn't, nothing. I didn't look like a salesman. I had long hair, earrings, um, chains, blah, blah, blah. I didn't have money. I didn't even have English. Nothing. But I had an idea that I can. I just had an idea. I had an idea. You get the idea. I had an idea that I can. One person, you take a real estate agent and this guy sells uh, homes. Private home up to a million rent in one area. You take another person and he say, well, no, let me take um, all these developments, all the developments in the city. What's the difference? The one guy idea of what can, what he can put out as an idea is one million rent in one area. And another guy idea is I can take the whole universe. This is too small for me. Ideas are the best weapon in the universe. Ideas are the best weapon in the universe. It's really fascinating. So you have as much as you can assume viewpoints or have ideas. Nothing more, nothing less. If you don't have more, it's because your ideas about what you can have, what you can create, is limited and you don't know that you limit that you put the limit because all day long you say, no, 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 I want more money. I want more money. I want more money. But you want it from a physical viewpoint. You want it from a physical viewpoint, not you want money, but you need money. So you want money because most people don't actually want money. They need money. So they want money. So it's very serious. You want money because of penalty, not because you have an idea of, hey, let's have some money here and so we can burn it. Why it's nice to see dollars burn. The color is really different than when you burn just normal paper. That's amazing, JJ, yes. Yes, and Ronnie, unbelievable. What is the definition of idea? A meat. Idea. Idea we defined earlier as the tool by which the spirit bring about things from nothing. This is the ability, the only ability of the spirit. The ability of the spirit is to create ideas, just bring some, something that is nothing. Listen, because I'm uh, defining something non-physical in physical terms. So you bring something that is nothing. Yes, because idea is not a somethingness. So you bring something that is nothing and that nothing bring about something. The spirit have the ability, have the potential. This is what I'm calling the potential to bring about something that is nothing and that nothing can 
bring about something by the viewpoint of the spirit alone. So you've got the potential to assume a viewpoint, to have an idea. You say it is, and so it is. There is no reason. There is no reason at all. No reason at all. This is the most fascinating thing. And every time you think about, oh, but why? When you think why, I need a reason for that, you actually been uh, man, uh, dramatizing the physical universe. You try to understand something non-physical phys by, by physical means. Does it make sense to you? So the first conclusion is good, excellent, very good. The first conclusion is you have as much as you can assume viewpoints or have ideas. It is too easy. You want a new car, if you just have the viewpoint or the idea, yeah, new car. But you, you understand new car just as an idea, not physical, not how am I going to get it? Well, what, what do you usually say? You say, I want a new car and immediately, immediately, immediately you have another 50 thoughts. You know what, what's the definition of a thought? Thought is the dealing with the past. It's a substitute for action, a substitute for creation. Thought is a substitute for creation. So you say, I want a car, and immediately, immediately, uh, overtly or covertly, you say, but I know it's not possible. I know it's just a theory. As I'm talking to you right now, you say, I know it's theory. It's true, but it's a theory. Which means the physical universe, the prior cause, is overwhelming you. Is that true? You say, you say, yes, I know it's all ideas. And I tell you, well, you know, you, can't, you just say, I want a car. And somehow there will be a car uh, without any reason at all. And you say, <laughs> true, true. But it's a theory. It's applied to someone else, not to me. Maybe I can do that with parking. But not with cars. Too good to be true. Yes, exactly. Yes. Do, do you understand? Um, one second, I'm just handling Gilly. Okay, so this is the problem. Exactly, Anthony, yes. So what is the fix? What is the fix? First of all, the first fix is number one, understanding. If I can dream it, uh, I can achieve it. That's true, that's true. But what happened is that when you dream something, when you have an idea, immediately the physical universe will kick against you. So the handling is to delete the physical universe. So that's what the whole purpose of the actual seminar Zero to Hero is to show you how to delete the physical universe from you. Just how to delete the physical universe. How do you, what do you need to do that the physical universe will be there or not based on your decision alone. So you will roll it out like a carpet that go in front of you or not roll it out. So it will be there as something that you put there, not something that has been put there for you. It sounds like heaven, maybe, uh, but it is just a spiritual, the spirit. That's the actual thing that you're able, the, the once you know, once you see it, once you see it happening once, once you see it happening once, it will be almost impossible for you to understand how could you look at it differently. How, how many of you, did you ever had a situation that a deal happened that you created it with no effort at all? It just, it was just like, just it happened. It was like impossible, but it happened. Yes, it was impossible, but it happened. No effort, it just happened somehow. Now, if you will look, there was a moment there that you knew. Before the deal happened, there was a moment there that you knew, ah, there's a deal. Or someone told you that there is a deal. Even if you didn't believe him, but it was so 100% convinced, like he saw something and you said, well, probably he saw something, so it's yes. Did, did it happen to you? That there was a moment that you or someone else saw it 
And from that moment on, it was almost irrelevant what you've done. The deal did happen and happened better than what you thought. That was a moment when you operated on an idea. Sometimes you, you're going to an argument and you know, you know, it's like, no problem. It's the guy cannot win. Cannot. Not because physically cannot win, but because you made the decision, because you have the idea. Exactly, JJ. Thank you, Marcel. Love you. So this is the first thing to know. You have as much as you can assume viewpoints or have ideas. So you, if you want to, do, to start improving that muscle, start with very low weight. Like when you go to the gym, you don't start with 100 kilo bench press. You start with 20 kilo. Start really, really low. So start putting out ideas. Now the key, the key, the key. When you put an idea, don't go and check if it happened. Listen very carefully. You put an idea, don't go and check if it happened. Because if you go and check if it happened, you already decided it could not happen. This is really fascinating. Just put ideas without checking if they happen. Don't check. The idea to move and do a number of things and have it done many times. Yes. Just to put an idea. You say an idea, mm, yes, I'll have $2,000 coming to my account today. Don't go and check if you did it. Don't check. Don't look. Don't, don't cheat. Just say that it happened and be sure that it happened and you don't check. You make sure you don't check. If you check, you already, what's happened if you check? Okay. If someone, when, when you say, let's say this is you and you say, uh, this is my name. Yes. I want to ask you, how many of you, after you say, this is my name, you went into your ID book and check if that's your name. That will be insane, no? Yes. If you check, you invalidate yourself. It will be insane to go to, to the ID book and check this is, is that my name? But who will do that? Who will go and say, well, I'm not sure what's my name. I think my name is like that. Someone that is total effect. So the moment that you check a crazy person, yes, a crazy person, a crazy person is a total effect. So when you check, you actually give up your ability to know. You admit you don't know. It is, it is just, you put it there. You just put it there. You say, and you don't check. You just create it. You put, that's my name. Why? My name? What do you mean? Why? If someone asks you, uh, that's, uh, what's your name? And you say, my name is Joe. And someone says, are you sure? You look at him and he said, are you drunk? What do you mean? I, am I sure? What's, what's, what's the question? Like, what's, am I sure? Of course I'm sure. And if you will keep on checking, what will happen, he will install a doubt in you. Eventually, you will go and check in the ID book. And that's what happened. In the physical universe, you always need to check. Is it there? 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 Which means I'm effect. I'm effect. I'm effect. I'm effect. Does it make sense? Yes, and wow, yes. It is unbelievable. It is wow. Candice, yes. So the first thing you need to know, the first conclusion is you have as much as you can assume viewpoints or have ideas. The second thing you need to know, ideas are senior to facts. Big wow, yes, Wapna, yes. Ideas are senior to facts. Ideas are senior to facts. Ideas are senior to fact. So in spiritual universe, it is, it uh, in the spiritual universe, is it a time frame when the idea can happen in the physical universe? Yes. The, in the in the when you come in an idea, the idea, you put the idea into the physical universe, you create something, 
And at that moment, it's there. If you left it at that moment, you will become the effect of it. But if you continue to create the ideas, you will have it there under your control. Somehow, because you've been in the physical universe for a long time, you came to the conclusion that your attention units are limited. And we will talk about it, why you reduce your power. Now, certainty is senior to facts. Ideas are senior to facts and certainty is senior to facts because when you have an idea, in the idea itself, there's a certainty. You don't check. If I have an idea, then that creep in. Um, does that cancel the idea? 100%. Doubt is actually force. So if you have doubt, you will not, you are not dealing with ideas anymore. It's the opposite of certainty. Now, next one. To have something, someone has to be convinced, certain, knowingly or unknowingly, that the something is there before it is there. For, um, for a, oh, I don't know what I wrote it. To, for, ah, for cyanide to kill a person, the person must be convinced, certain, that the cyanide will kill him. So what do I mean? If you have a barrier here, let's say there is a barrier, okay, there is a wall, and no one ever went into that barrier. That barrier is not a barrier, yes? Let's say that there is a barrier here. This is a barrier, it's a wall, it's a wall. But everyone goes around it. It's not a barrier. So for a barrier to be a barrier, someone has to agree that the barrier stop him. So your agreement is what make a barrier a barrier, yes? So if you don't have money, this is a barrier. This is money and this is you. And you don't have the money, it means that there is a barrier here. But that barrier can be a barrier only for as long as you say that it is a barrier. Do you understand? This concept is fascinating. You couldn't have a problem before you decided you have a problem. You couldn't have a problem before you decided you have a problem. Let's say that you are sick, okay? Let's say that this is your body and your body have a sickness, okay? But you don't, have, you don't know about this sickness. Do you have that sickness or not? No, because before there would be some kind of a manifestation, some kind of a test, someone of something that come to you and say, listen, listen, there's a barrier, you have to agree to it, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Because the body is junior to you. You need to agree for barrier to be a barrier, someone has to say that it stopped you. Okay, Vadim, it's okay. You remember at the beginning of the agreements, we said, What's true is what's true for you. And if you find 1% true and 90% not true, it's totally fine. I didn't say that what I say is true. Okay. So if you have something, if you have something, let, let's, say you have a, let, let's say you have a sickness here, okay? And it's there, you don't know about it and you die before this sickness became affect you in any way, shape or form. Did it exist or not? Did it exist or not? Did it exist or not? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Now, how will you know if it exists? If you never checked it, what makes it real? I'll give you another example, okay? Autopsy, and if you didn't check it, if you didn't check it, did it exist or not? This is a very interesting question. If there is an empty forest, if there is an empty forest, okay? And in that empty forest, okay, there is an apple. Does 
and but no one saw this apple no one saw the apple does it exist or not no one ever encountered that apple no one it didn't affect anyone it didn't change anything it has no effect on nothing no effect So what makes something exist? What makes something exist? How do you know that something exists? What makes something exist? How do how, how something exist? How what, what does it mean exist? What does it mean exist? Agreement is not exist. If there's agreement is not exist. If you put it there, if you put it there, but how do I know if something exists? How do I know? How do you know if there's a wall here or not? How do you know if there's a wall here? How do you know if there's a wall here? How do you know if I checked? Yes. How, how do you know communication? That's true. How do you know if something exists? How do you know? I tell you right now, uh, in front of me, uh, there is a chair. How do you know if it's true or not? How do you know if the chair exists or not? How do you know if a chair exists? I see it. Okay, so the only thing to know if something exists or not, not something that you created, something exists or not, it have to create some kind of effect on you. If it doesn't have an effect on you, as far as you're concerned, it does not exist. If it doesn't have effect on you, as far as you concerned, it does not exist. Let, let me do a test to see if it's if I'm right or wrong. Let me do a test. Okay? So I will tell you about things that exist or not, and you tell me if the, if it's true or not. There's something that called G love. G love. Do you know what's G love? It's not J. G love. It's it's spelled like that. This is something in physics that called G. La. Do you know what's Gila? Okay. Is it does Gila exist or not? For you, does Gila exist or not? No. Why it doesn't exist? Because you have no communication with it. Now, if I'll give you a make microscope with high enough there's no communication with it. Yes, exactly. They didn't create any effect. So for something to exist, for Gila to exist, someone has to look at it because otherwise you will tell me it exists. So if it didn't affect you, it's not exist. How many of you knew about atoms before someone told you about atom or show you an atom or convince you that there is an atom? Somehow it affected you. How many of you knew about the atoms before someone came to you and said, hey, there's an atom? No one, yes? Which means it does not exist before. And if I'll come to you before that and I'll say to you, there's an atom. And you say, what? At mu, at wood, at what? What? Because before it affects you, it does not exist. Think about it. Have a look. The physical universe wants to tell you that it's not like that. The physical universe wants to tell you that it's not like that. And the more you agree that it's not like that, not for you. So when will it come for you? If it does not affect you, it does not exist. Gila exists or not? Gila exists or not? Is it exist right now? May, ah, maybe is the highest level of irresponsibility. Maybe is when someone doesn't want to take responsibility, he's saying maybe. In this universe, there's no maybe. There's plus or minus. Nothing is equal. Maybe is when a person is very low in responsibility and he doesn't want to say it's bigger or smaller, right or wrong. Hmm, this is very fascinating. Yes, 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 yes. But maybe it exists. Anything is maybe. So you're living in a universe of maybe, and the maybe give you total stop. So at any given time, you know something exists only if it affects you. 
And otherwise, you live in a total maybe. How, what is maybe? When you drive, when you drive a car, and you say, should I turn left and right? I don't know, maybe. At that moment, you stop. You slow down, and then you stop. Maybe is just the highest level of irresponsibility. The highest level of irresponsibility is maybe, and it is the physical universe because the physical universe is the sum of all maybes. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. There's no plus or minus. There's plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and you're sitting duck. It's, it didn't almost kill you because you ignored the illness. It's not because you ignored the illness. It almost killed you because you did not take responsibility for the creation of that disease. This is really fascinating. Of course, Jose, Gila is not in Google, but you all agree that it's there because I said, because it affects you somehow. It's just something that I invented. But you didn't know if I invented it or not, but it affects you. So you say, oh yeah, Gila, Gila, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Mayor said, yes, if I look at that, it will affect me. Oh, I didn't agree, Never mind. It's just, you agree or you didn't agree, it's the same thing. You understand that if you agree or not, it's just plus and minus. If you agreed or not, it's the same thing, it's just plus and minus. And what I'm trying to, what I'm teaching you is you actually have to start putting their ideas, not agreements, not plus and minus. It's there because you say it's there. Now, because you are not willing to take responsibility, there are so many things that are hidden from you. Because there's always a prior cause, there's always a prior cause. So it will be hidden from you. And what's the result? The result is that you will know that your potential is in the sky and your result, you make $5,000 per month and you struggle. How can it be? If you are so, if you, not if, since you are so unbelievably powerful and I see that you are unbelievably powerful and I know that you are unbelievably powerful and I know how, how perfect you are. And you're willing to sound perfect, but you're not willing to say mm -mm, anything that exists, it's me. So you say you are not perfect. What does it mean perfect? You bring it about. Because if someone else brings it about, it's you are not perfect. Does it make sense? Can you see it? It's not an easy concept. I'm not saying that it's easy to accept because for 30, 40, 50 years, you've been convinced the opposite. Total opposite. Sixty-nine plus, yes. <laughs> For eons, that's more correct. Mind-boggling, it's the right viewpoint. So, if there is something that exists for me, made up of atoms, don't the atoms have to exist for me also? If there is something that exists for me, what does it mean? If something that exists for me, you put it there. It somehow affected you. So if it affected you, you already not the creator, yes? That's it, you lost it. But if you put it there, there is atoms or not. For how many years the planet was flat? Do you know for how many years? Do you know how many years the planet was flat? For how many years the planet was flat? For eons, the planet was, was flat for many, many people, for most people. One day someone come and say, yes, for eons, the planet was flat, it was flat. One day someone came and say, it's round. Good, it became round. Everyone agreed the planet is round because you can see it, you, can, you have proofs. And then someone come and say, no, 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 it's actually elliptic. And do you know that right now there is proof that because of reflection, the planet is actually built from eight, something like that, more than a round thing. Now flat again, yes. Do, do, do you understand that this is just a viewpoint? Nothing is actually, nothing is actually true. It's just a viewpoint. There's no beauty or ugliness, big and small, plus or minus 
or anything else other than your viewpoint. You say, and so it is. And a powerful person create things and a useless person agree with things. And those that gone don't even agree. Powerful person create things, bring something out of nothing. Useless person agree with things because someone told them the physical universe educating and those that gone do not even know, they don't even feel. Those, those are gone that the total insane, totally insane. People that totally stuck in the past. They, they rely only on the prior calls. How alive are you as much as you don't rely on the prior calls? Why a child have so much life potential? Because he has very little prior calls that he's aware of. Old people have only prior calls. They agree to so many things. They cannot create anything. It's all been given. It's all already set for them. They're just in a jail that they, everything has been set. It's like that. There's atoms and there's that and there's that. And this is how it works. And you tell them, well, you know, there's a cell phone, not, not something complex, cell phone. And they cannot change. It's too complex for them. How come that the cell phone is a complex for an old person that's supposed to have so much knowledge and for a child that have no knowledge, it's easy. Chad has less prior cause to agree with. So the more you believe that things exist, not under your control, the more dead you are. Do you agree with that? Do you, do you see that? Yes. Blank slate, blank slate mean no prior cause and it's true. Very much, fully. This is really fascinating. It's a different viewpoint. If you wanted to hear more of what you already heard in the last 30, 40, 50 years that you're alive, I'm, I have a news for you. I'm going to teach you everything the opposite. Now, to have anything, you first need to have someone there to, that look. To have anything, to have anything, you first need to have someone there that look. Do you understand that if we could not look or measure or somehow have an effect, look does not mean direct look only, but if we cannot look at another planet, there is no another planet. There isn't. As far as we're concerned, there isn't. And in reality, there isn't. <laughs> this is really fascinating. This is so, yeah, this is so unbelievable that before, isn't for us, but it is for others. For who? Show me them. Who is the others? Show me the others. Once you show me the others, I'll give you the million dollars. There's a planet that's called Jugabugu. For who? Once you show it to me. Since you cannot um, experience the idea of everything that is here is just something that you put there, you want to think that everything is already exist. But you have only one problem with that theory. You know what's the problem? If you go right now to Google and you research, you will see that there is one thing that break all those theories. You know what it is? The planet expand. If the planet expand, and since we know there's not something out of nothing in the physical universe, what expand it? There is a law in physics of the conservation of energy. The physical universe, it's not a true law. Why? How did they violate that law? Because they found that the planet, that the universe, not the planet, the universe expand. If the universe expand, it means that what we have right now, what we have right now is not what we will have tomorrow. Which means there is something out of nothing. Do you, do you get the idea? If the planet, if the universe expand, if the universe expand, and you need to do some research on that, it means that some that some nothingness bring about a somethingness. Of course, you can understand it from that viewpoint, or you can understand it. The universe started somewhere, so there was two particles, 
And today, these two billion particles or two billion billion particles, obviously, it's expanding. So if it is like that, what's there is what has been put there. Exactly, just as something out of nothing is putting the expansion there. This is fascinating. The closer you get to energy, the further you get from yourself. Idea expanded, yes. The closer you get to energy, the further you get from yourself. The more you agree with energy, prior cause, this got burned, I burned this fuel, and so because of that fuel, there was this uh, smoke, and because of this smoke, this what happened, and there is conservation of energy, which means you did not create it. It's there because it's there, not because you look at it. The further you get from the truth. Now, if you go to if you go to uh, um, uh, to quantum physics, which means small particles, you all do you all know about the two the two slit uh, experiment? Everyone knows about the two slit experiment. Did you all see the two slit experiment? Anyone don't know about the two slit experiment? No, I will explain it. Okay. Me 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 me. Okay, no. Okay, good. Okay, two slit experiment in two seconds. Okay, in two seconds, I explain to you the two slit experiment. Okay, two slits opening, two opening experiment. Assume that there is here two opening. Okay, opening number one and opening number two. Okay, and assume that there is a um, screen here. If I take a ball and I shoot this ball through here, it will go sometimes through here, and sometimes it will go through here uh, in, um, uh, in some kind of a random uh, way. And what will happen, you will get a kind of a line where the ball will hit. So if I look at, um, if I look at the um, screen that the ball will hit, it will hit once here, once here, once here, once here, and once here, once here. Once here, once here, once here, once here, and it will create a kind of a line. Okay, why? Because the the balls will go once through once through opening number one and once through opening number two. Okay, so far so good. Everyone agree with that? Easy, logical. Yes. Good, excellent. Now, if you take atoms, yes and you send them through here, yes, through these two uh, holes, what happens is the atoms are spread in an organized manner with many, 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 many lines. And those lines are the result of waves. They create basically this, like a wave that goes in here. So you can think about it as a wave that goes in here. And this wave, when it goes through, when I put it here, what you get is those lines, this height and this and this and this. And it's actually more waves, waves within waves. Everyone understand that? So when you get lines kind of result, it means that there is a wave. And when you get ball, when you get just two lines, it means that there is a one particle. So far, so good. Everyone with me? Everyone with me. Now, now, so far it's very easy. Now, when I send atoms, and if I put someone to look at them, when you put someone that observe, the atoms start to act like balls. They create two lines, not waves. So anyone that has any question about what exists, should have this settled because if you look at something, you get one thing by measurement. And if you don't look at that, you get something else by measurement. And by the way, this person that look can be right there or it can be in another planet, in another continent and the same results happen. The atoms know you're looking at them. So what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? It means that what exists is what you say that exists. 
What exists is what you say that exists. It's affect you, it exists. This is really fascinating. It exists because you say that it exists. So the universe expands. Proof number one. The first, the smallest number is two. Proof number two. Quantum physics is another proof. But the real, 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 real truth is the reason it acts like it acts because there is no atoms. It's there only because we say that it's there. And if you have doubt about that, I've said it about, uh, I think, five years ago in the, in the seminar, The Secret of the Physical Universe. And about two years ago, uh, Mr. Hopkins died, and he said that that's what actually happened. There's no atoms. Read, and you will understand. But you don't need to read. You need to observe, actually. Okay. That's fascinating, fascinating. The closer you get to energy, the further you get from yourself. What does it mean further you get from yourself? You cannot affect the behavior of, of things. You believe the thing exists by definition. And I say things don't exist, you create them. Really fascinating. Any questions so far? Any questions? Thank you, Jose. Thank you. Thank you, John. Can you create for someone else? No, you don't create for someone else. You create for yourself. You can have agreement with someone else. You don't create for someone else. Because my blue and your blue, we both call it blue, but it's not the same blue. JJ, that's good. Amazing. This is fascinating. Yes. Can you believe what you are saying? Cannot believe what you're saying. I know, Vadim, you shouldn't believe. Believe is something really low. You need to look, to observe. Just have a look. Just look what makes sense to you. And the most important thing, what's true is what's true for you. Most important. Even if you think that it's exactly the opposite, since ideas not facts a senior if you have an idea that it is the opposite it will be the opposite it's totally totally right because ideas are senior to facts what is the universe what is the universe can i create success for myself and have success for my business partner also even if he thinks otherwise you can definitely create success, but he, if he thinks otherwise, the success that you will have will be for him a failure because you created the success and not him. And so your success will make him wrong. So even if he will have money, he will not consider it success. And of course, you need to define the word success. Yes, the sum of all validated improvement. What is the universe? What is the universe? Condensed energy is the universe, and it is a lie. That's true. Universe is the result of drop responsibility. Wow, wow, wow. Very, very good. Very good. Mest is not a universe. It's not a universe. This is a specific universe. Not, and I'm talking about any universe. Mest is a very specific universe. Uh, uh, your all ideas, yes, the area you can put things. Okay, good, that's very good. Universe is the sum of all limitation and rules. Okay, good. Universe, all universes are the result of drop responsibilities of ideas, on ideas. So you had ideas, there's no universe, nothing, no universe, no nothing. There's a nothingness, yes? This is the nothingness. And you put an idea and you drop the responsibility for the idea. The moment that you drop the responsibility for the idea, the idea will continue. Not necessarily as you know it in the physical universe, but it will continue. And at that moment, you have a universe. 
So your universe, for example, your own universe is the sum of all the ideas you drop responsibility for. Counter intention. Your universe is the sum of all the ideas you drop responsibility for. So for example, uh, you decided, oh, you know, I can run 100 meters in 10 seconds. And then you said, no, it cannot be done. So in your universe, you define a limitation. It's an idea you drop responsibility for. So now it continues. You say, ah, you know, I can make a, a million dollars. And you had a, a failed purpose. What you created is a universe. You put another building block in your universe. Oh, that could not be done or that could be done, or that could not be done. It's an idea that you drop responsibility. Why it's an idea that drop responsibility? Because in order for something to continue, the responsibility had to drop. In order to something for some, what caused something to continue? What caused something to continue? What caused something to continue? A lie, what does it mean? What does it mean? What caused something to continue? In the physical universe, what caused something to continue? A change. Yes, a change, a change. So if, if I have an atom, okay, and let's say that the atom has only plus and minus, okay? There's always a movement here. If the atoms will take a break, and the plus and minus will stop moving, will we have an atom or not? If the atom will stop moving, will you have an atom? No, because it will collapse one on each other and you'll get zero, okay? So the reason something continues is because it contain a change. Do you all agree with that? Do you understand that? Yes, good. Excellent. Louis, good. Excellent. So the reason something continues is because it contains a change. Okay? Which means the truth has no continuation. This is the truth, the creation, moment of creation is the truth. It has no continuation. So for something to exist, like a universe, it means you had to drop responsibility. You needed to add a lie. No more creation. You put something on automatic. You put a change, and so it continues. So far, so good or not? Yes. Uh huh. You have an argument with someone. You go and you communicate with him. He tells you all the truth. You tell him all the truth. There's no problem anymore. You had an idea that you could not remember it because it was true. So for something to continue, it has to contain a lie, a change. Okay? So if there is a continuous movement, if there is a continuous movement, and if the, if the universe, if the physical universe was limited, yes, and there's a continuous movement, it means something has to hold the limit, <laughs> which do not make sense. You understand? Because someone has to put the limit. And that limit, you know what's this limit? Is your ideas. So the ideas always change, and that's why the universe expand. The universe expand by ideas. This is really fascinating. If I took something here and I put 20 atoms within here, okay, and they will never move, never go out. It cannot be. Why? Because this universe do not admit of a not change. Then you will. You, what you say is that there is a line that of not change, and this universe do not admit of a not change. From one side to the other side of this universe, there is no, no change. So there could not be a, a physical universe with limits. 
yet everything around tried to convince you that there is a limit. Everything around tried to convince you there is a limit. It's all a lie. It's just an illusion. Mm -hmm. Truth has no continuation, yes. Truth has no continuation. So all universes are a result of drop responsibilities on ideas, which mean you will see that when you say I'm res when you take responsibility for something, what you gain is the ability to have new ideas to change it. When you take responsibility for a situation, what you gain is the ability to change it because now you can come with an idea. But for as long as something affects you, for as long as something affects you, it means you did not take responsibility for it. Because something can affect you only in the physical universe. Nothing can affect you as a spirit. Because the spirit can only create. That's why you need a body. That's why you're taking a body, so you can get an effect. Do you understand? If if someone uh, die, if someone die, if the body die, uh, the spirit, do you think that it has an effect, that you can make an effect on the spirit? You need a body in order to create an effect. And the lie is that the body don't even give you the effect, you give it the effect. <laughs> but that's a different story. Body do not feel. The body is not sensual, it's not sentient, it's not feeling. It's really fascinating. Okay. So all universes are the result of drop responsibility on ideas. Does it make sense to you? Do you see that? So if you want to take responsibility, if you want to have the ability to have new ideas, you need more responsibility. If you don't have ideas, it's because you had a very, 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 very long period of believing that the physical universe gives you all the ideas. Did you ever felt that you don't have an idea for a business, you don't have an idea how to create money, I just need a good idea and I can have money, I just need a good idea to write a song, I just need a good idea to, write, to, to do something. If you felt that, it means you are not responsible. You, for a long, 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 long time, living within the physical universe that hand you everything. It gives you the taste, it gives you light, it gives you feeling, it gives you everything. Everything is physical. You have a pain, you take a panado or whatever it's called, you take a pill and it helps, it's, it kill the pain. Everything, everything is handed to you. You want to hear music, you need a, a computer or a speaker system to hear the music. It gives you the idea. Does it make sense to you? Do you see that? Yes, yes. So if you have no ideas, you have no vision or vice versa. If you have no ideas, it means you've for a long, long, long time, you did not take responsibility for things around you. They control you rather than you control them. Lack of ideas is a manifestation of lack of responsibility. Once you are responsible, fully responsible, you will have ideas because you will not buy the nonsense of I'm the effect of the physical universe. Anything, anything, anything that tells you that you are the effect of the physical universe is actually your enemy, yes? Because what's better to be cause or effect? What do you think? When do you success more? Successful more? When you're cause or you're effect? Cause, of course. So if someone comes to you and say, well, you know, uh, it's all uh, happened because this is how it is. If you will accept it, you are done. Because if people accepted that they cannot communicate between planets, because if I will come 20 years, no, 200 years ago or 500 years ago, and I will tell to someone, you know, you can communicate between continent, he will tell me what's a continent. As far as he's concerned, there was no continent. And what do you mean communicate over such distances? It's impossible. 
It's not possible. It's not true. It cannot be. It cannot be. It cannot be. Someone had to have the idea that it can be to bring it about. And the enemy of, of the spirit is the thing that put limitation. Limitation can be done it, by saying it is there. Limitation is not necessarily a door that you cannot go through. Limitation is something that says it is there. The moment that something is there, it's actually a limitation. You have a body, you have a limitation. It is there. You have a business, you now have a limitation. You have to open it, you have to close it, you have to report to the IRS, you have to do a million and one thing. You have a limitation. It is there is a limitation. I create it. There's no limitation. There will be expansion. And somehow those limitations will just go away. There will not be a problem for you. Do you get it? Do you, do you understand? Fascinating. The moment you start using energy instead of idea, you what? What happened? Well, yes, very much. Thank you, Tracy. Yes. How does an idea go from a person had an idea to it becomes the norm? Uh, what was said? Da, 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 da. The level of irresponsibility. People um, over the eons wanted a game and they drop. In order to have a game, you drop your knowingness. So the short answer is drop knowingness. It is a trap, yes. Drop knowingness in order to have a game and drop knowingness in order to have a game. And there's a process that you drop knowingness from I know to I don't know. Do you understand that I don't know is a form of no, yes? So it's just a drop of knowingness. And then you get something else to give you the facts. And then you get into facts, drop knowingness into I need the fact in order to know what I know. I need a fact in order to know what I know. And the fact is senior to me. Even if I didn't see them, they're still there. It's even a lower level of responsibility. You understand? So the moment you start using energy instead of idea, you lose your ability to decide. You understand? If you use energy instead of idea, you, you, lower, you lose your ability to decide because energy is already something that has prior cause. Does it make sense to you? You even if I look at a, at a business, I have a person, and everyone is closing an idea, and we have an idea, and I, we have an idea. And now I come to a person, I tell him, look, you need to do that tomorrow. Now you have make a decision. You you start to use energy. Yes. The moment I use the energy, I cannot decide anymore because I'm in a path. I can change the part, but it's not, it's based on what I already created. There is an effect on that other person. There's an effect on me already. Energy creates effect, and I now become the effect of it, unless if I can come up with a totally new idea. So the moment that you use energy instead of idea, you lose your ability to decide. The moment that you say, well, you know, this is the market, and did, 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 you use energy instead of idea. Energy gives you certainty not ideas. At that moment, you lose. The biggest certainty a person has is by in the physical universe is by impact. Someone give you an impact, you sure it's there. Hmm. Ideas keep you in PT, exactly, because PT is the area of creation, as we discussed in the earlier lessons. Now, you think you, lo you lost your ability to generate idea. And so, because now, you, the, the moment you use energy instead of ideas, you lose your ability to decide. And so you think, because you cannot decide, you think that you lose your ability to generate an idea. And so, you are trapped. Because if you cannot generate ideas, from now on, you have more and more and more limitation and limitation only. And what you get is actually earth. This is Earth. More and more limitations. And you, if you look around, if you look around, every single organization on the planet that I know of actually 
tell you what's the limitations. This is the way you should operate. This is the way you should operate. And if you don't operate like that, we will punish you. We cannot experience ideas. We already have the idea for you. This is how you do it. And at that moment, at that moment, you lost you. If I teach you something and you don't make it yours, totally yours, you invented it. I teach you something here, if you don't make it yours, if you don't know that you invented it, it's your idea. If you get it because I say it, you did not get it, you actually, I actually create a bigger trap for you. By teaching you, I create a bigger trap for you, unless what's true is what's true for you. You take it, it's yours. It's yours, you have to make it yours. It has to be your idea. You need to make it yours. It has to be so true for you that you create it. So if someone asks you what it is, that's what it is. It's an idea. It doesn't have to be based on what I said. It has to be based on your idea. Good, JJ. This is so fascinating. If I want to limit you totally, I will give you more and more and more facts that you need to agree with. But if I tell you something, look, this is my viewpoint, create on it, come up with ideas, anything. Come up with ideas, 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 not facts. You will see that you will become so big that nothing will stop you. Exactly. This is what I'm talking about. The physical universe continuously tell you no ideas, facts, a senior. Well, I'm telling you, you have cancer. Well, fine. So you, if you don't agree, I will make you sick. And if you don't agree yet, I'll take your body away. But yet, you will see that there is something to do with ideas that define who will have sent cancer and who is not. You take a person and you give him cyanide and some percentage of, this, of uh, people will cyanide will not affect them. And some percentage will die before they even take, took it. Just hearing the name. What? Why? Why? How come? How come the idea what you have? Now, the more you agree with the physical universe, the less you can control it. The, the, and the trick is very, very unbelievable because the physical universe tell you, look, 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 learn about me, agree with me, and so you can control me. But the more you agree, the less you can control. Old people agree for a long time and they don't control the physical universe. Those old people that still control the physical universe is because they have ideas of what they want to do, what they want to create. Ideas, ideas will win any war. If you look at any war, any war in the, in the history, it was won not by guns. It was won, by the way, Vadim, no, have a look and you will see. If you want, I can actually give you the name of people that don't uh, die from cyanide. There is a list in Israel of specific people that don't. I don't know about the other places of, around the world, but in Israel there is. And, and I know about it because I was in that experiment. I was involved in that experiment personally. Very fascinating. So you will see, you will see that uh, as you will go along, as you will go along, the more you will agree with the physical universe, the less of you you will be. Everything around convince you to use energy. And you know that when you use energy, Eventually, you get depleted. When you use ideas, you never get tired. When you have ideas about a new business and a new adventure, you go and you do it, you do it, you do it, you do it, until you turn it into an energy, until it becomes an effort, until there is something convince you to put an effort. The moment that something or someone convince you to put an effort, which means the physical universe is senior to you, you start to become tired 
it's painful, you need a rest, and so on and so on. But as long as you go on the idea, as long as you have this purpose, as long as you have this something that is the, end, the fuel of the spirit, that fuel is never ending fuel because the spirit generates it. It does not consume it. The difference between the fuel for the spirit and the fuel for the physical universe, the fuel for the spirit, the spirit generates its own fuel, and the fuel of the, of the physical universe, the physical universe consume it. And that's the lie, that's the trap. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Marcel, yes. Okay, good. How are you doing? How are you doing? Who had some wow moments? Who had some wow two hours? <laughs> Beautiful, yes, super, yes, great. That was fun, good, awesome, good. Me, fantastic, me, amazing. My mom and I, good. Candice, nice. I had big wow, yes, good, Tracy. Good realizations, great, superb. It was great, yes, wow, John. I left the body, so I'm happy. Good. Lorna, as usual, amazing. Nomi Madhim, amazing. Uh, I'm in love all the time, Marcel. Wow. Kate, fabulous. So much to take in. Feeling a slow shift. Good. Anastasia, a lot to think about. Good, Marcel. Perpetually happy. Wow. Illuminating. Susan, wow. The world seems lighter. That is amazing. Candice, I feel so free. Wow. Thank you for this. Thank you. Yes. And Meryl, uh, my 11 years old uh, granddaughter also enjoyed. Wow. Nice. Thank you. Ahmed, I'm going to listen to the recording several times. Good. Jerry, I like it. Excellent. Luis, thank you. Amazing truth. Yes. And the eight wonder, thank you. Is the seminar in Cape Town? The seminar is going to be, the actual seminar going to be, a part one will be online, and part two of it, which you will be amazed to what will be the, the name of the, the part two. Part one is from zero to hero. It will be online, and part two will be in Toronto, and it will be called The Map. The Map. I will give you the map that you've been missing for a long, 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 long time. Feeling more cause uh, than when I started this morning. Good, Lisa. You're very welcome. John, do we have the date yet? Yes, we have the date. Um, I didn't publish it fully, but the date, let me tell you, I don't remember exactly the date. It is July, here it is, 11, 12, 13, 14. July 11, 12, 13, 14 in Toronto. Yes. Can you share uh, the link of the recording of this session? Yes, we will. For an engineer like me, and like me, I'm very logical and I do not know how to eat your data. It's fine. That's totally fine. Don't eat it. Just observe and find out what's true for you. I don't have prices and so on right now, uh, but it's expensive, very expensive. Get ready, start to save. You know what you need to save on? Save on agreeing with the physical universe and, and by that you will have ideas, things will just happen. Good, okay. So I want to ask you to please, 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 if you enjoyed that seminar, it was free. And what I want from you is a change. If you want to do that, is go to Facebook and share your wins. Next week, the same time, we will have the continuation of this seminar. Uh, we, are, we are moving with that. We moved the, past the recap, which is good. But we've done six slides today out of 44, and we're on, on uh, number three already. Um, so it's interesting. It's a very, very, very charged subject. Th that's why it takes so many time to go over it again and again and again until you will see it, because you will see it, and immediately the physical universe will come and say, no, 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 it's not true. Don't believe it. Don't, 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 don't look, don't look, don't look. 
And I will come a week later and I said, no, 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 have a look. And the physical universe will say, no, 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 don't look. And eventually you will see that you will look and you will find that idea as a senior. Okay, that's all. Thank you very, very, very much for listening. And um, I will see you next week. And if you are on the Why You Don't Have Money uh, seminar, uh, you next uh, Saturday, the same time. And if you are not, you should register. And I'll give you the link here, gpinc.info. You should register. Uh, it's I kept the price as it is, so you can register. Um, and that's all. Thank you very much. I love you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for Candice and Regan for doing the admin behind the scene. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's stop the recording.